Hey BC, hey, Jeff here again. So I have uh, a story and some uh, local buys. I know in recent videos I have done some stuff mainly about online buys, but I do buy locally. Uh, there are a couple stores in the area. I've shown lots of videos of stuff that I've picked up there and uh, went to one of my favorite stores recently. And well, the whole reason was, uh, what was it? This was a couple weeks ago or well, last week, a week or so ago when my son's wedding. I had mentioned in a previous video uh, the son my son was getting married and literally the uh, party place that the wedding was at was right across the street from this record store so I thought well while we're killing some time here I'm gonna go run across the street so went over there and uh, we were just kind of looking around and I tend to you know I try to just see what the new latest uh, you know you stuff is and I went ahead and picked up a couple that they had. This one I hadn't seen there before, and I don't know how I missed it. But Huey Lewis in the News, probably one of my favorite Huey Lewis albums. This is where, picture this is what picture this is where I discover Huey Lewis. And then we went back at this time. This was back when this first came out. As we, it was you know all over the stands, and you hear the songs. And so I picked it up back in those days. So you know, Change of Heart. Uh, I mean, most of these songs to me, Working for a Living, is one of the bigger hits. Uh, do you believe in love? So this is, you know, buzz, 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 goes to Bumblebee. But this was a great stuff. And then they, they appeared on, back in this in this day, which was about 82-ish, I guess, they appeared on MTV concerts. And I remember we watched that all the time. It was great. So the other day, after getting this album and listening to it, <laughs> I uh, went to YouTube and I thought, hey, I wonder if that MTV concert's out there. And I did. I pulled it up. Hey, MTV, you know, concert night or whatever. Had the logo and everything. And sure enough, it was the concert from back in the day. I remember we, we recorded it on cassette and used to listen to it. The thing I noticed was this sounds, uh, I don't know. And then I'm, you don't want to think the worst. <laughs> and so I started paying attention to, you know, and it looked like it was really on sync and everything. But then I occasionally noticed when he's singing that he'll pull away from the mic, you know, a hair soon, you know, and the sound doesn't change. And after just listening to the record, I thought it funny that it sounds just like the record so it made me think I have I didn't listen to the whole thing but at least through two of the songs I kept focusing on is this exactly in sync because it seems like the vocals he'd pull away when it sounded the same it just sounds like could the concert have been lip synced I don't know it sounded picture perfect ah, picture this anyway Back in the day, we loved it, and uh, I'm sure some of it had to be live because I think they did some songs on there, if I recall, that you know were not uh, not recorded. Anyway, I have to go back and watch the rest of that. Picked this up; it was only a few bucks. It was uh, it's funny the barcode; it looked like there might have been a sticker on there, and somebody ripped it off. But great album. Wanted to pick this up. I still want to get the first album, and I do have sports, and I need some more of those other ones. Now, I had mentioned this one in a video a long time ago. I, I think. I couldn't remember the name of the band, and I went back and I thought, I'm going to try to find that album, but I still couldn't remember the name of the band, but I kind of knew where in the store it was, so I kept looking, and I finally found it. And I was kind of right. The band's called USA. Now, from what I, I can't find much online at all, but from what I could find, it looks like either they're a Canadian band or the album came out in Canada. So, but this was just a, hey, blind buy, let's try the guys look like they got the rocker, you know. I don't even think it had, when I looked at it, I don't even think it had a year on it. Turns out it's, uh, yeah, see, it's from Canada. Um, it's still, I don't recall if it had a year on it, but when I went online and found it, it seems like it was from the 80s, 81, 1980, 81, 82, 79, I don't know. Have to go back and look, but you know they've got the typical look of a you know a garage band, local band type thing. They don't sound as good as they look. Okay, I take that back. When they first started, there was it was keyboard heavy, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know. But there were quite a few songs that were a little bit edgier. So overall, it was a great album. It wasn't as edgy as I thought they would be for the way they looked with all the lightning bolts and everything, but it was good. Only album that I can find by them, only album that seems to be released that I could uh, locate any information on that's on Discogs at this point. Now, while I was in the record store, I'm looking, and they had an album that I wanted that I was like, I have this on my Amazon wish list. It's a handful of dollars cheaper than this version in the store. 
Do I want to support local music and buy it because I want it? It was a different, I wasn't 100% sure at the time, but I'm like, this doesn't seem like it's the Amazon edition, which is typical black. This one was a, you know, a li limited gold edition, blah, 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 blah. I held off. I bought some albums and I thought I'm going to hold off and go do some research. I went back home and I pulled it up to said, what's the difference between these uh, colored edition? And I pulled up the album, did some research and I thought, okay, so the one I had on Amazon was black. It is about $5 cheaper. Um, this one is different packaged. It's a limited edition gold and mar black marble. And then I'm thinking, well, how much does it sell for, you know, like on Discogs? Because I didn't find an Amazon. How much does it sell for on Discogs? Is it worth buying locally or, you know, is it cheaper to buy online? And I found it on Discogs for a few dollars cheaper. When you add shipping, it's about the same price as it would be if I bought it in the store. I said, okay, so the store selling it for roughly what I would end up paying for. But who, you know, I could probably maybe buy some other items from this person, say when shipping it to justify getting it and I looked at the name of the store that was selling it on Discogs and it was my local store I didn't even know they sold on Discogs I'm like seriously so I got a hold of them and I said you know I made a deal you know that they would match that price if I picked it up and saved the shipping so I went back and I got it now it came in this O sleeve but I took it out because I can't get it in there but it's the love and death perfectly preserved so this is Brian Welch, Brian Head Welch from Corn. This is his their his band. This is their second album under the name Love and Death. He has a first album called Head, and then changed it and put together a band called Love and Death. I have listened to this a couple times. See, it says Gold with Black Marble Special Edition. Though I don't see where the black marble is. It's pretty much just gold. It's got some swirlies in there, but the swirlies are even just look like they're ripples. They don't look black. Both rec I mean, it, the both sides pretty much look the same. It's anyway not a big deal. It was interesting to have, but it came in this O card, O ring. Where you know the album slides through, but since I couldn't put that in the packaging, I took it out. And I'm just storing it. Now the reason they had marked it down is because when it was in this packaging in the store, because this is a bit bigger than the album itself. With the shrink wrap and everything, it had flattened out like that to where, you know, it wasn't square anymore. And you can see it's actually got a little crease there. So they kind of marked it down as being, you know, the cover was in good condition because it was kind of crinkled and, and beat up a little. Again, not a big deal. So I went down and picked it up, took it out, got the crease back in there. So now it's pretty much, you know, nice and square like it should be. But I don't like this displaying it like that so I put it in a typical sleeve and did this it is a uh, it's a gatefold but there's not a whole lot going on here single album it's got a book that's got some uh, you know creepy pictures no pictures of the band though just pictures of things in jars Just a lot of that, but so if you're not familiar now, I've no, I was never much of a corn fan, and then you know Brian Welch uh, became a Christian, became you know started doing music that was more of a religious Christian bent to it. So I started listening to that and really appreciate it. Saw so him, he came to uh, where I work and and spoke about his you know conversion and history and uh, got to meet him many years ago but that was back when the first head album came out when he, when his, his biography came out anyway um love and death it's very uh it's got a lot of different styles and i love this album i've been listening to it online for a while and i knew i was going to get it and i've had it on my wish list again waiting for it to drop in price but i went ahead and jumped on it and bought it at the local store to support local music love this album it's got you know a little bit of the noisy stuff industrial sounding it's a little bit of screams here and there a lot of melodic stuff so it's kind of all over the place but it's just a great album and you know i would love to see him release the other love and death on vinyl too so that i can have all three uh okay so anyway so that was there while i was there and i didn't mean to put this down 
while I was there, I went ahead and grabbed this at the same time since I went back. I picked up the D Snyder again. I looked online, and the price online is the same as the price at the local store. So I'm going to go ahead and support them and grab that while I'm here. Since I saved money on the other one, it's red as usual. And this is D Snyder's, you know, recent, uh, his technically a second metal album because his other album was kind of a little more lighter. And so uh, this is, again, just great stuff. It is metal like his last album it is typical d stuff it's got lots of rock anthems um anyway it's a great album and i've been waiting to get it and i went ahead and picked it up it is also this comes in a gatefold if you haven't seen it there's d in the pictures there so yeah big d snyder fan big twisted sister fan had to get this at some point I had not seen that the store had it, so when I was in there and I saw that they had a couple copies, I went ahead and grabbed one, you know, because they were as cheap as they were on Amazon. I thought, yeah, let's get it. Great stuff. Check out Love and Death if you're not familiar with them. If you're into that little bit edgier stuff, more modern, metal, hard rock, industrial, noisy sound, but great stuff. I love that album. Listened to it quite a few times already. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll be back. Rock on. Rock hard.